Hello to you. Let's use a spreadsheet to make some macroeconomic data. Okay. So here we'll open up a new Google Sheets. Okay. And we'll go fairly quick here. Okay. I like to uh, see all of the boxes. So I'm going to uh, just put a border on everything so I can see it better. So that's right there. All right. And then I want to I want to name the the sheet. So I'm going to come down here. Let's do let's make one for GDP and GDP per capita. Okay. So let's say that I get some data. Okay. I'll just zoom in so you can see it better. All right. So let's put a year here. Let's say I got 2018 data. Let's say I find that the let's do consumer spending. Uh, investment, which means spending by businesses, government spending, export value, and import value. Okay. Uh, so let's say that I've got a problem and I'm told that the consumer spent 120, we'll say that this one is in billions. Okay. Uh, let's say that I'm told uh, 20 billion on investments, 50 billion on government spending, and I find that this country exports uh, 10 billion dollars and imports 15 billion dollars. So if I want to know the nominal GDP, I'm going to write a formula. The way to tell spreadsheet you want to write a formula, I hit equals, okay, and then I'm going to click on cells, okay. So uh, the top part, these are called columns, these are called rows the row column combination. I can just click on it with my mouse. So that's C2. I want the data out of there. So I'm going to write this formula. So I'm going to hit the plus key because remember what the, the GDP formula is. The GDP is C plus I plus G plus the value. Well, we'll call that net exports, but it's the value of the exports minus the value of the imports. And it gives us nominal GDP. So we have all that data in here. So we go equals this plus this plus this plus this minus this. If you really want to be picky, you can put that in parentheses if you want, but it doesn't matter because it's addition. Okay. So we get 185 billion. Okay. Now let's say that this popul this country has a population of, uh, let's say, 100 million people. Now 100 million people is the same as saying, so in pop in billions, it's the same as saying 0.1. Okay. And so then if I want to know the GDP per capita, okay, because I'll write the formula over here for you, GDP per capita equals the nominal GDP or the real GDP divided by the population. Uh, and so I get 185 in this case divided by uh, that population and I get uh, 18,000. Now these are in dollars so if you want to change that to dollars you can. You can uh, change that right there. You can get rid of some decimal places. There you go. Okay. Uh, what some people like to do is they like to highlight uh, the things that are uh, formulas so that that way you don't touch them. Oops. Let me do that. Uh, all right. There. Okay. So the magic of a spreadsheet is, let's say that, uh, I don't know, I want to come back and I want to do, uh, like, I want to do a, a net, another year. Okay. So I want to do, let's say I got the data for 2019. I can change that. Let's say now it's $150 billion is a good year uh, for those guys. So I change it and notice it changed it right there. It changed the GDP per capita. Let's say it's 22. Uh, let's say it's 51. Okay, so notice it's updating all of this uh, to reflect whatever changes in the data that you have. And if you change the population too, you can say, let's say it went up by uh, a million people. So then there is their GDP per capita. Okay, so that's the first one. The next one we can do is uh, inflation. Okay. So uh, usually inflation is measured by a set of prices. Okay. So let's say I got uh, three products that I'm measuring, and I will do types of products, right? So we'll say we'll say this is 2018 again, and let's say I got food, and I got clothing, 
and I got health care. Let's say those are the three things I want to measure here. Uh, and we'll do this is the price and this is the quantity. Okay, so let's say that food on average costs ten dollars and clothing costs fifteen and health care is uh, twenty five and let's say a person gets uh, three hundred units of food and they get twenty five units of clothing and they get twelve units of health care. Okay, so then I can do the uh, the totals here. I can do the total prices. So I'm going to write a formula equals this plus this, plus this, that would be the total price of the basket of goods, all three of those things. And then if I wanted to do spending, so I could do spending on each of these items. So spending is going to be equals, and I'm going to click on this, and when I want to multiply, I'm going to use that star key or the asterisk key on your keyboard. Okay, and multiply both of those. Okay, and then if I don't want to copy the, the formula down, I can, you can see I can grab this, uh, this guy right there. And, It'll, it'll copy that down for me. Okay, and then if I just want to copy the, the formula, I can, I can hit Control C or in Control V, like Victor, and copy it over there. And if I don't want to do that, I can uh, take this up here. I can go to Copy, and then I can paste it right there. And the spreadsheet's smart enough to copy that uh, formula down and add it all up. Okay, so that was the 2018. Now let's say, for some, some reason, I was... I was wrong. It wasn't ten dollars. It was really nine dollars. I'm gonna change that in my uh, in my data, and then notice it changed it down here. Okay, uh, so let's leave that consistent. Let's do a 20, uh, 2019. Let's see, I got the twenty nineteen, uh, and and you can put this over there. It's just a personal preference about where you put it. Let's say the food prices actually went down to eight. Health, clothing prices went down to fourteen, but healthcare went up to thirty. Okay, and then let's say that the quantities didn't change. Notice the spending changed. Okay, so I want to know uh, what is the inflation rate. So this is a slightly more complicated formula. Uh, what that formula is, I'll just write it over here. It's it's new minus old. And put got to put that guy in parentheses. So just the percent change formula divided by old, and then this is going to be a, a percent. So we want to multiply it by a hundred. So there's your there's your formula there. All right, so let's write that formula. So you always hit equal sign, okay? So I want to do, let's do the inflation rate and the prices, okay? So it's new, so the 2019 minus old, and then I want to put that in parentheses, divided by the old. Okay, and I get that number. I have it multiplied by 100 because I'm just going to tell the spreadsheet to do that. It, it, it knows it up here. It's just format as a percent. That's a 4% change. So we've seen some significant inflation because that's higher than the 3% threshold that, that we uh, we have there. All right, last little spreadsheet we're going to make here. Let's do uh, unemployment and labor force participation rate. Okay, so this one we can do in, uh, in columns. So let's do years. And I like to make the borders on there. So looks better. Okay, so we've got years. Let's say we've got 2017, 2018, and 2019. Let's say, let's say I've got a population in a country. Uh, we're going to put all of these in millions. Okay, population in millions. Uh, let's say that uh, labor force in millions, and then the unemployed labor force, and then I want to know the unemployment rate, okay, or the unemployment percent, and finally I want to know the labor force participation rate. So relevant formulas, I'll just write those over here for you. It's the unemployed uh, labor force oh, divided by the labor force, and that will give you the unemployment, whoops, over here, the unemployment rate. And then the labor force participation rate is the labor force divided by the population. Uh, both of these need to be multiplied by 100, so I should probably write that there to turn them into percents. So we're going to tell the spreadsheet to just do that. All right, so let's say I got this population of 100 million, and then it grows to 102 million, and then it's like 100, and baby boom happens, it's 105 million. <clears throat> let's say 
Labor force is 70, then it's 74, and then it's 73. And the unemployed in the labor force, let's say that there are seven, six, and five. Okay, so the unemployment rate, uh, I'm just going to write the formula here. It's the unemployed in the labor force divided by the labor force. It gives us 0.1, which is no percent. Boom. So that's 10%. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of one decimal there. So 10%. Now I don't have, to, I can do the formula, write it again, or I can just uh, grab this little, uh, little uh, cross thing there. Copy it down, and we can see the unemployment rate has fallen. Now, uh, labor force participation rate right down here. This is the labor force divided by the population. I can even do that in my head. It's 70%. And then I'm going to take uh, format as a percent and get rid of one decimal place there and copy that formula. And I got it. Okay, so, and then this way, if I need, if I had another year, if I find out the 2020 data, I can just copy those formulas down and It'll, it'll update for me. Right? See, it doesn't have data there yet. Let's say that um, the population is now 106 million and labor force is now 80. You notice it's updating that. And let's say that 6 million are out of work and then that updates for us. Okay, so that's the power of a spreadsheet. That's how to do the spreadsheets.